A father says the early release of a former police officer serving time for hit and run is criminal. Former officer Stephen Coco served two and a half months of his 12 month sentence for hitting two teenagers and leaving them bleeding in the road. While under a new law, the superintendent at the House of Corrections determines early release is beneficial, but prosecutors were in court today arguing it sends the wrong message. Our Jean Mackin joins us with both sides of this high profile test case. Well, Shelley, former officer Stephen Coco spoke in court saying this early release program is the best option for. For his family, but the family of one of the teens hit calls it insulting. It was my impression for good behavior you could get out after eight months, and so I was expecting eight months, not 72 days. Roy Drucker says this is not the early release he expected for former Manchester police officer Stephen Coco, convicted of hitting Drucker's son and another teenager last year while driving a police issued SUV in Bedford. He drove away, leaving the boys injured, later saying he thought he hit a snowbank. He was sentenced to one year. He served 72 days. He's been out since June 6th, something his father just learned. So it really is a shock to me. Under a new law passed in September, the superintendent at the House of Corrections has the authority to release prisoners if it's deemed beneficial to rehabilitation. Stephen Coco is now working in construction and calling to check in with the House of Corrections daily. He says the program is helping his family recover. Those 72 days in jail sent more than a strong message to me. There is no chance that I will reoffend in any way. And I don't know how long it will take to repay my debt to the community and to my family. The prosecutor says the court should review the case and determine if it approves of early release. The state asked the court to, to prohibit the House of Corrections from moving forward in this fashion. While the defense says the statute is being followed. He is among the best candidates for this program. And the judge is expected to rule on this early release decision made in this case sometime this week. Reporting live, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.